Are you hungry? All right guys, so we got my official first meal of the day. So as you guys saw for breakfast, I like to just have a little carbs before I train because I find that I feel best if I do eat protein or consume protein, it just takes longer to digest. So having those waffles with a little bit of syrup on there is perfect, it digests pretty quickly and then I'm able to train right after. So for basically breakfast, first meal, actual meal of the day, we do have yuca as well as ground chicken. So we made these chicken patties in the air fryer. Got some barbecue sauce on top. So this morning's training was good. So again, what I like to do is just have some carbs before I train, like not a big heavy meal. So I just have those waffles with a little bit of syrup, get in the CrossFit workout, and then I'll cool down a little bit, get some work done, have like an actual breakfast with protein and carbs. So I'm gonna eat this, finish some work, and then I'm gonna head out there and do my strength and accessory work. So I'll be sharing that with you guys, so let's go. All right guys, so for today's strength and accessory, I did do bench press, I did five by five with 245 pounds. Again, I really like to control the eccentric. I don't really let the weight come crashing down on me. I always like to be in control. So I did five by five, 245. And then I did a four by eight strict neutral grip chin up, controlling the eccentric. And as you see, I like to use full range of motion. So I like to get a really nice deep stretch at the bottom and then full activation at the top. And next up did some glute ham raises and I'm really stoked on the progression with these before I could only do them with a band. So worked up to four by four and when I started, I just did like three sets of one, then I did three sets of two and three sets of three and then finally worked my way up to four sets of four. So getting there. And then I just had a banana for some post-workout carbs and then here I have the 9.30 a.m. class getting nice and warm. And I'm gonna show you guys some footage from the 5 p.m. class later that I had to coach. But uh, here's me just cleaning up the floors, getting it nice and clean for the later classes. And I do have to come back to the gym around 3.30 p.m. to coach my personal client. So, so, mama. Hi. Hi, Stinky. Hi. Ay, mamá. Ay, mamá. Acabo de llegar, que se voy a estar. Mamá. Yo ya. Mamá, sí. Ajá, que dijiste que tú Alright, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about this new chapter that I'm starting. So if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you guys have seen my transformation from going from strength and bodybuilding into CrossFit and competing now. So what I plan to do is, is take a step back from competing and stop going so hardcore on the CrossFit training. You know, I'm still gonna do CrossFit daily. Like I'm still gonna do like the main workout at 5 a.m. with the whole crew like I've been doing, but I'm not gonna continue doing all the extra training that I was doing after that. So to be competitive in CrossFit, you have to be good at everything. There is so much to be good at, you know, engine work, strength, technique, all that stuff, it all comes into play. It does take a lot of time, and that's one of the main reasons why I wasn't making a lot of YouTube content, because I would spend so much time training, and literally at the end of the like training session, I, I, I have literally nothing left to give. So my quality of life, outside of the gym was kind of suffering and lacking. 
because I was putting so much time and effort into my training because I wanted to be the best I could possibly be. So then when I show up to these competitions, I'm ready and you know, I'm not questioning myself like, was it enough training? So I've decided to take a step back and I really want to focus on just my quality of life. So I'm still going to be doing CrossFit, but I'm just going to basically do one of the CrossFit workouts with the whole 5 a.m. crew like I've been doing. But again, I'm not going to continue to do all of the extra CrossFit specific stuff. You know, I'm going to do my own strength and hypertrophy stuff, basically like what I was doing before I started CrossFit. But I'm still going to do like one CrossFit workout, but it's not going to be crazy, gnarly training for hours and hours and hours because for one, I want to have more time to produce content. And that's one of the things that I haven't been really doing much. You know, I still do like the cheat days and the food stuff because you know, I do that on days where I don't really train. And so it's easy to have that time to do that. But to film like full days of eating and training videos when I'm doing competitive CrossFit, it's very difficult. You know, you're just tired and I just didn't want to do it. So that's why like the normal days of eating haven't been here. But now with this new chapter I'm starting, I'm excited. I'm not going to be competing anymore. Stepping back a little bit from competitive CrossFit and just doing more strength, hypertrophy stuff. So I'm gonna be doing more workout videos, which I know you guys do enjoy, and more full days of eating. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on that because I really wanna focus on how I feel, my quality of life, and as well as my sleep too. Because when I'm on like full training, compete mode, like my sleep suffers, and it's, it's tough because the competitive side of CrossFit, I'm gonna say it's not healthy. You know, it's very, very taxing on the body. You know, to do CrossFit daily, of course, it's, it's fine. You know, if you do like one workout or some accessory, but to be like full mode competitive, like three Metcons a day with strength, it, it really beats on you and I definitely felt it. So again, gonna be taking a little break from competitive CrossFit and gonna be producing more content for you guys. So hopefully you guys are excited. I'm definitely excited. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand. Business, babe, business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to make some food. We got oh, rotisserie yeah. chicken. This was from Costco. We got platano. Platano. Platano y pollo. Pollito. How much um, chicken do you want? Eight ounces. Eight Four ounces? Dollars. That is 237. All right guys, we got some lunch. So we do have rotisserie chicken. I have about five ounces of the chicken breast and then about three ounces of the thigh meat. We got some avocado, platano with cinnamon on top. I really enjoy it with the cinnamon. So here we go. And by the way, it is 12.30 p.m. and this is my lunch. So I do have to go back to the gym. I have to be back there by 3.30. I do have my personal client I have to train. And then I'm gonna be coaching the 5 p.m. class. All right guys, so back at the gym, just finished training my personal client. Uh, he's been doing great, progressing really nicely, getting super strong. And I did a little bit of accessory work, just some shoulder accessories. And now I'm about to coach the 5 p.m. class. So um, yeah, coach the class, then we'll get some dinner. I'm actually pretty hungry right now. Usually I have some snacks in between, but I didn't really bring anything. But uh, that'll just lead me to have more calories for dinner, nice big meal, and make it enjoyable. So for the squats, 40 reps is a lot. If you can do it in two to three sets, it's gonna burn a little bit, but it is a shorter workout for eight minutes. She wants to need a job. Nice, easy face. Take your time, really squeeze that core, send that arm and that leg out as far as you can. Alright guys, we got a little snack was in the fridge. 70 calories. It should hold me over for a little bit. Step back. You want to take a nice deep breath. You want to pretend that you are going underwater. Nice deep breath. Brace the core as if someone was going to punch you in the stomach. You want to break at the hips and the knees at the same time. You don't want to send the hips back and then break the knees. You don't want to break the knees first and then the hips. 
So hips and knees break at the same time, nice and controlled. Full range of motion, get that hip pass and knee crease. Drive through the legs, stand up. Again, nice big breath. Feel that diaphragm, break at the knees and hips, all the way down, full range of motion, and stand. All right, let's go ahead and start warming up these back squats. Again, we want full range of motion. Keep that core nice and tight. Don't think like that. No. No. This is 205. It's going to be oh a PR God. now, baby. Let's go. I did 220, but you missed it. Oh, you did 220? Yeah, that's PR. So you're even stronger. CSB <laughs> <laughs> power, baby. <laughs> Let's go. go, Ashley, you got it. Right back up. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! yes. Yeah. Nice! Oh, yeah. That's it. That's a lot, girl. That's it. Nice. Go, Ben. Big air. Stay tight. Up, 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 up. Hey, sometimes it just comes out. <laughs> oh, shit. Go <laughs> Two coaches. That a girl. All the way through. Almost done. There you go. Let's go, let's go. All the way through. Woo! barbacoa. They didn't have barbacoa. But <laughs> I asked the guy to grab a little bit of bar barbacoa water and he put it on top of my carnitas. Mm. All right, all right. Wow. So I got double chicken al pastor, rice, black beans, uh, double corn, sour cream and red sauce, guac on the side. So yeah, usually we don't eat out on a Monday, but we were super busy over the weekend. We went to the Skate Park in Tampa Pro Contest to watch, so we didn't have time to like meal prep, cook a bunch of food. So Chipotle it is, pretty excited, I'm very, very hungry. We usually go out on Wednesdays. Yeah. So good. Time to enjoy. Where is Zoe? Zozo. Zoe. You went so far. Did you see that? Hi, Mama. Hi. Hi. Just got back home and having a little snack here. I did need some more carbohydrates. So Jackson's avocado sweet potato chips. These things are amazing. I got two servings here. So crunchy, so good. 
But all right, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Again, those are foods that I do eat on a daily basis. And we did go to Chipotle because again, we didn't have food prepped because we did have a busy weekend. But yep, still tracking macros. I still weigh my food and again, I like it because I'm able to enjoy the foods that I like while still being able to make progress in the gym and my training and maintaining the body composition that I want as well. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I'm pretty excited for getting back on the grind with creating content for you guys. And seriously, a little break from CrossFit competing is gonna be nice, so I'm looking forward to that. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below. And that is gonna be it for today. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.